Hey, how are ya? Nox is Flack here, and welcome to yet another Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition playthrough video. We're gonna be continuing, yes, that's right, I know you already know, the William Wallace Learning Campaign, which, as you can tell, was done in order and correctly. And they threw me for another loop. You'd think, oh, if they went like this, maybe they'll do this this time. But no, this is actually number six. Forge an Alliance. Before I press play, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more Age of Empires 2 videos. Let's begin. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling. So we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden Oops. south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Alright, very cool. How fast will the loading screen be though? Capture three relics and garrison them into your monastery. I can train more monks if monks die. Man, they the gave us Scottish like some army has been rallied by point. recent victories against the English. The situation is starting to look up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. Let's go Good. along the path. You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery Dead? by right-clicking the monastery. It. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks so have other relic. abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold blah, to your blah, stockpile. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we're looking for another relic. These are our allies, so if I tell you to go into there, can you uh, figure that out on your own? Thank you. You explore here. No, you can't. You need me to baby you. Okay. Assist with that. Get in there. Oh, we can't get in. The gate is locked. Isn't that something? But more importantly... Oh. So I wonder when the announcer is going to say the gate is locked. Why is that? Arr. Also, I don't think I have access to gold. Oh, oh there's some right there. We can do some gold. Raw bullion. Raw bullion. Increase sight range because I'm trying to explore right now. Let's see what's going on back there. Hello, hello. And then what's over here? I like this town a lot. Need more houses. Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage, bushes, and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right click a farm. Yeah, I'll do it. Just not yet. Ooh, stone. Stone is my favorite resource in this game because I have a thing about castles. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow player, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, you will need to build a market. Okay. I love it. Let's build a market. Rob Wigan. Very good on the house building. Now continue to chop. Kia. Kia. But I <laughs> the building that mess up your chopping. Get over here, please. Get over here, please. Let's see what's going on there. And then we're almost certainly going to need a military in order to deal with the enemies, right? Upgrade to men at arms, make it cheaper to build more men at arms, why not? These cost wood and gold, so I can build these now in the early game when I need my food for villagers. You have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. 
That was all my food. I did it. Don't make me do it again. <laughs> Kid? You're gonna make me do it again. Why are you making me? Okay, I don't know why that's a thing. Building a trade car, trying to open that gate. 45 now, okay. War villagers? What are the scouts doing? So. Did you know that there are three different modes for the mini map in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units, or only resources, and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the mini map. Ah. You made a trade cart. If you click the trade cart on your allies' market, you can make extra gold. Kia? Your trade cart will automatically Trebali. make trips between your and your allies' markets. Hey, is that saucy boy? Nice to see he's playing Civ. Unhappy he didn't ask me to join, but you know, I'm not going to be upset and post a video about how upset I am to the internet. So I assume you're going to find some baddies. Hello! Oh, now you're just rubbing it in. I'm just here doing some exploring. You have reached your ally's town. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units oh. move to a spot once <laughs> they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, <laughs> click your barracks, click set gather point, <laughs> then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Very nice. So, hello, you're going to be control group 10 and you're going to walk into my ally's yeah. base because supposedly he has a relic, I assume it's up here. And then while we're at it, I'm going to need to destroy his base, which I imagine requires aging up again, which means I need more food. Well, simple enough. Love these HD graphics on some of these buildings. This actually looks like a little church. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Very cool. Oh, but more importantly, now watch me try to do this. Technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Welcome to sheep management. No taking that back, huh? It's fear. It's fear. All right, now we're just building an army. Is there any food? Oh yeah, let's take out one of these. Kid. All of you take out this. Hello. Farm. Oh no, all of those farms are taken. Chop. Our farms reseeding. They are now upgrade them. On his way back. Okay, he, he knows. He knows! Look at oh he switched into Rimworld. Oh he's going back to Civ! What is he doing? Nah, assist. Let's use some more food. Kid. Just chill here. Forgera. Some more farms. Forgera. <clears throat> it's that uh. Booming, you know? It's not really fun for streaming to just slowly build your economy. 
But the reason I would want to age up is to get access to the uh, siege workshop, get some rams, and then go into the enemy base. But I have a serious food shortage. You now have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more, and you will be victorious. All right, tell me where it is. You're not gonna, are you? Kid, target it all. I have a solution to increase food, actually. Kia. Oh, it's about to get increased majorly. Boon cool. Get over there. So that's now we're at 385. Take Same care of that it? one. Air love. Let's build some fishing boats. Rob, we get solve the problem. Kia. More Rob, farms in the tutorial. Kid. You've chosen the dangerous life of being the first hunter to hunt the boar. Kia. Your job is to shoot one and then run very bravely. Very nice. It's all good. We've got this. It is also our only gold production. Come on. Kid, Kid, Beat, feed, fear. Are they really that tunnel vision? No, they're gonna get him. You have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering the relic. I bet I do, yeah. Kia? Cool. Alright. Think about it. Not actually do it. Just think about it. <clears throat> you know what? Let's you try. Get ready to English. I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. Cool. Let's upgrade the units we have and go to the next age and then all of the monks. You're gonna be behind oh, healing yeah. the units. Let's take oh. positions here. Kia. Yar. Yar. Kia. Yep, 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 yep. Those are fish. You can just go for this. The monks have a super long line of sight due to their wisdom. Alright, you fight, you take out the cavalry, you convert him. Join us. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Alright, you two will heal. We're gonna stab this stone wall, as is historically accurate. And they're, they're going for it. Run. Very bravely run away. I know they're just all confused. Imagine being in that trade cart. What is happening over here? There's nothing. We're not. We're missing nothing. They're stabbing stone. It's gonna be a while. All right. Take a few hits. Ooh, super dramatic. There you go. Alright, we're here for the relic, not to take out every individual wall. Come on. Come in and use that giant eyesight of yours. Stab that guy. This is medieval times, there were no rules. There he is. All right, that's your path. Heal, heal. Get on the hill. Increase your range. That's strategic. Good job, guys. Gonna make sure they don't have any wood. Yes. 
Please make my monk move faster. This is unbearable. Forget everything you're doing. Stab this building. Heal them. And this is it. This is the guy who's going to win us the game. That's our ally scout. This is my one lone gold miner. Don't know why I need to tell you to do that. Yes, yeah, stab the building. Stab it. Show the building you mean business. Who's gonna win? The monk walking a relic very slowly, or soldiers stabbing a wooden structure? Looks like the monk. Congratulations, you have captured all three relics. Long awkward pause. Ah, oh, we almost had it. With the three relics locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Blessed. Hashtag. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of our own with which to meet workshops. We march south to Falkirk, where we will join with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. Exciting! And there you have it. That's part six of the seven part series of the William Wallace learning campaign. That one's a little bit better. Made you attack in order to get something and deal with walls and whatnot. I, I enjoyed that one. I remember the Battle of Falkirk is probably the most fun of this entire campaign. But again, let me know in the comments, what did you think? Do you think this is an effective tutorial for a new Age of Empires player? Or do you have a better idea? As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. This has been Noxus Flack, and I will see you in the next one.